day. It's Tasty Treat Tuesday, guys. I haven't seen you in a while. This is Mary Fulton with Mary Fulton Fit, and let me go ahead and tag some friends. We are gonna do some frozen banana peanut butter sandwich bites, okay? Super delicious, easy to make, real quick. You can share these, you can make them during the week. Um, you can use dark chocolate, whatever chocolates you wanna use. Let me go ahead and just tag friends to share this on my next page. Two seconds. Why does this always take me so long? Do you wanna say hi to everybody? You guys say hi to Cliff, give him a heart. He's always excited to see you guys while I share this. Okay, we also already pre-froze um, some bananas, right Cliff? Uh -huh. Cliff, do you wanna get them out for me? Okay, so let me just share this so that we can get some more friends on here. And let's go, banana treat. And my kids love these, so I'm waiting for everybody to jump on. Here we go, banana treats. Okay, hello, so excited to see you guys. If you guys are there, give me a heart and a hello. Say hi to Cliff. So Cliff is my helper tonight, and he's been excited. Oh, come over here, Cliff. And what we did first, what did we do, Cliff? What did we do with these bananas? So we're going to dip them in chocolate. We are. You can look at the camera, though, so you can share them. But what did we do first to these bananas? What did we do? We made, we made um, we, we froze them. Yes, we cut them and we froze them. So these are frozen bananas, okay? They're already ready. And what we're going to do is we are going to top them and make them into little tiny sandwiches with, you can choose almond butter, um, you could do peanut butter, or you could do nothing and just dip them by themselves in chocolate, right? Or coconut, whatever you want. So while we start putting peanut butter on these, we're going to use a little bit of coconut oil. And I put a recipe in there. I'm doing a little bit different. A little bit of coconut oil because sometimes when you melt chocolate, it gets a little bit hard. So and I'm just going to take some chocolate chips today. Um, you can use dark chocolate whenever you want. You can do like four little handfuls. Okay, let me show you what we got here. I'm gonna get a new camera too that moves. And um, so I put this in here with a little coconut oil. I'm gonna pop it in the microwave. Cliff's gonna get a spoon and we're gonna start putting, um, oh geez, Cliff. You don't have to be so harsh with the, with the drawers. All right, okay, so we're gonna mix up that almond butter a little bit. Oh, hi there, how we doing? We got some new friends out there. What's up, Gail? So we're gonna mix the almond butter, yep. Yeah. Hold on, it's just it's real oily today because it's brand new. I got this one at Trader Joe's. I also have peanut butter. I just thought I'd show a little bit of almond butter and I'm gonna show you, you're gonna just do a little dab. Don't see in front of the camera, I can't see. We're gonna do a little dab on these little bananas. I'm gonna get the camera a little closer, just a little bit in the middle because we're going to, you wanna bring it closer? Perfect, you wanna be my cameraman? Okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. I'll, go, I'll be your right cameraman. There. That's perfect, thank I'll you. I'll be your cameraman. And then we're gonna, we added a little peanut butter and we're gonna stack it like a little sandwich, just like this, okay? So let's go ahead and get to it, Cliff, come on. We got a lot of work to do. We're gonna take these here, come over here, Cliff. You want a spoon? Oh my gosh, Cliff, this is turning into a disaster. Here we go. Disaster, camera disaster, it's all good. So we're gonna go ahead and put these on here, Cliff. Can you do a little dab on each banana? while I get the chocolate. We're gonna stack it like a sandwich. So we make little banana sandwiches, I'm putting these all here. How's Cliff doing? Send him some hearts. He's really good at cooking. And why don't you tell him how your day is so far, Cliff? Oh no, what I did you dropped do? it. <laughs> it was very clumsy. All right, here we go. He's a little bit clumsy. Who can relate? So you're gonna mix up that chocolate and coconut oil. Wait, do I put it on? You put it in for 25 seconds. Do oh, I just do this? Yep, and you make a stack, and then you put them here. 25 seconds, okay? We stir, stir, stir. Keep going for like another 30 seconds, because you don't want that chocolate to get hard. It's um, like the peanut butter. Yeah, you look good, Cliff, doing this. All right, almond butter, some more. I'm gonna jump in here with you so we can go a little quicker. These are gonna be a great dessert. It's a great after-school snack, moms, for those kids. And also for an evening treat, maybe your you know, really trying to stick to your program and so having a little bit of a sweet treat, sweet tooth at the end of the night. Let's go. How's it looking so far, guys? What's up, pooping? You gonna make some of these? Who will make a frozen banana treat with us? Cliff, you're a rock star. We got it, all right, keep going. I'm gonna go stir the chocolate. Can you keep making the sandwiches? Maybe ask them some questions about what, their favorite, the what their favorite foods are. Maybe ask him some questions, the camera people. I wanna, I wanna you don't want to ask him a question? <laughs> I want to stir it. All right, there we go. We're stirring the chocolate. 
It's right. getting meltier. We're almost there. I think we can do one can more. Stir it? Yeah. Hold on, dude. Let me go one more time. All right. Another 30 seconds in here. All right. So I did the chocolate chips like three times round. And it says, uh, that looks yummy. It is yummy. It's going to be tasty. Hold on. What are you doing, dude? Hold on. We're going to go finish the job, bro. Finish the job. How many of your like kids me? always want to run? They say, let's bake cookies together, and they ditch you with the cookies. Raise your hand. Yeah, me all the time. <laughs> Mom, let's make pancakes. Five minutes later, I'm all by myself in the kitchen. All right. We are making a mess. We oh, yeah. have another time. little peanut butter sandwich. Okay, let's check on that chocolate. It's going to get a little extra messy here with the chocolate. All right, now, there are better ways to probably melt chocolate if you have one of those cool little fondue guys that warms the chocolate you want to mix it it's very hot we're going to put it on here okay we're gonna i know but we're you gotta follow my directions right now so we're gonna mix the chocolate here and then we are going to dip the little bananas in here so after that you can dip the whole thing or just one i, I should have gotten a glass bowl but i'm just gonna kind of flip it it's gonna get a little messy and voila Woo! Watch out, Cliff. There we go. We got one chocolate sandwich. This looks amazing. Uh, Skippy, Skippy, my other son, came into the kitchen today and said, are you making those banana things again? And I said, yep. Who wants one of these? We're going to put them back in the freezer, too, and it's going to harden, and you have a really yummy dish. Now, if you don't want to use peanut butter or nuts, all right, you're licking those fingers, huh? Hard not to. <laughs> Then don't use peanut butter. Make it an easy one step. Cut the bananas, freeze them first, then dip them in the chocolate, and then freeze them again. The chocolate's really good. Yeah. I like the Christmas so, chocolate. Oh, Cliff, you're in the way. Can you just I, wait? Well, I'm trying to hands? move. I'm trying to move. You can't wait to watch the pen. Mom, can you relate to this video? It's, it's amazing. All right, so here we go. <laughs> We're going to call this Can You Relate video. All right, and the last... So we're just gonna keep dipping these, but Can I have one? yes, you wanna try one? Yeah, with chocolate. You wanna try it all melty? Yeah. Or you wanna wait till it freezes? These are like, no, no, they don't go melty. These are actually starting to kind of freeze on their own because the bananas are frozen. So you wanna try one? Okay, go ahead into the camera. Take a bite. Look at them. Tell them how it was. Whoa. Looks like an overload. Babe, you should wait till it's frozen. <laughs> Skip's gonna wait till it's frozen. All right, and I would say if you're going to do, it depends on, like, two bananas. This was two bananas. Cliff says yes, as you can really see. Good. Really good. Now, we, use, we used uh, chocolate chips today, but you can do dark chocolate. This is all I had at home, and I just wanted to demo it real quick. But um, I think this is going to be a great snack. <laughs> Cliff, Cliff says what? Two thumbs up? What do you think? Really good. really good. Oh, this is a perfect after school snack or a little dessert for your kids. It's fun too. You can cook with your kiddos or do it on your own. And uh, that's it, guys. This is it. Easy bananas, some nut butters, and dip it in chocolate. All right. So that's it from Mary Fulton Fitz Kitchen. It's a little crazy around here. I got three boys living the life, right? <laughs> Hold on. Let me let me turn that off. Ah, before we go.